It is that time of the year, thunderstorm season, and we've seen a lot more lightning here lately. And how can you stay informed before the storm hits? Well, here's meteorologist Dante Ricky with all the details for us. One of my favorite topics is thunderstorms. However, thunderstorms can be dangerous. In fact, let's look at a particular storm here. And what happens is, as rain droplets collide and produce hail, that can create lightning. Did you know that one single strike of cloud-to-ground lightning can be as hot as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit? That's warmer than the surface of the sun. And as lightning travels through air, the air expands. Air is a poor conductor of heat. So as a result, you get a sonic boom, a loud crash of thunder. Now, what's interesting is that if you see lightning and then hear thunder within about five seconds of time, that means that that lightning strike was about one mile away from your location. What can happen is as the air temperature increases on a hot summer day, that thunder sound can travel a faster speed. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's the loudest crash of thunder you've heard. In fact, we can have louder thunder sounds on cooler days outside. So let's review some safety tips that you should know in case you encounter a thunderstorm and know what to do so you can be safe the next time you hear thunder or see lightning. The first one is move indoors. A large building, your home, or inside a car with the windows closed. You want to stay in there until 30 minutes after the last crash of thunder you hear or strike of lightning that you see. It's a great idea to unplug those electronic devices. That way, if any lightning does travel through electric systems, that you'll have your devices protected in the future. And stay away from windows. Those thunderstorms can produce strong, gusty winds as well. And lightning and electricity can easily travel through your home plumbing in addition. Always be aware of watches and warnings. Even though you can have cloud-to-ground lightning, even without a severe thunderstorm warning, what is important to know is always have a way to receive weather alerts, no matter how severe that thunder storm is and a great way to do that is the eyewitness news storm team weather app that's all for tonight i'm meteorologist dante ricky stay safe everyone